Well, it seems that Warhammer is here to provide. They've come out with a new video on their YouTube channel, the faction focus on the Adeptus Custodes for Warhammer 40K. Hopefully I said that more correctly for everyone out there because I honestly thought it was more than just the janitors of the Emperor. I thought it was some God forsaken sort of entity out there with some strange name for it but no no they're just custodians that's literally all they are i i honestly thought there was something more to it but we're going to take a look at this trailer that warhammer's put up because it's getting ratioed and the comment section is um telling them that they're very brave for not locking the comments for good reason. Well, I've already watched this trailer and honestly, there's not much else I see in this. However, they do bring in a lot of other stuff. So we have a little bit to show you here. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. The more you subscribe to the channel, the bigger we can get and the more videos like this I can bring you. This is Warhammer 40K. You know, you, you sit there, you paint models, you spend your life's fortune on it. You spend your 401k and absolutely drain that bank account. And then you realize that your 401k becomes a model show. That's where we are today. But the Adeptus Custodes are something to behold because recently in the lore, they have now added that women can be the Custodes instead of just being the all-women's faction of the Sister of Silence under the Space Marines. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous at this point. They have the women version of the Custodes as the Sisters of Silence, but no, they have to go further for the diversity reasons and they have to make the women part of the actual custodians. I don't know why you've got to do this. And this is why this video is being lit up. Let's take it and take it from the top. I, I, of course, I can't just play the video straight up. We have to, I have to break this up a little bit. So. God Emperor. And for 10,000 years, they have stood sentinel over the master of mankind, bad in nigh impregnable Oromite armor. They Oromite armor? Am I saying that right? Oromite armor. What in the world is Oromite armor? This is, this is, I, I honestly am not a Warhammer person. I don't dive into it because I don't have the money sitting there to dive into something like this, let alone the time to paint models. These are the finest warriors in the Imperium. Each custodian possesses a raw strength. It's an interesting picture there because this is the Sister of Silence here in the background from what I am understanding of Warhammer lore. It, but in no way throughout this whole video, I've watched it already, in no way do they suggest that women are part of the custodies underneath unless they're part of the Sisters of Silence. These elevated elites protect secrets, guard vaults, and when called upon, are pitiless executioners. This kind of reminds me of like the old school, uh, what is it, StarCraft videos, um, where you have uh, Kerrigan uh, coming down and the Terran and everything like that. They cannot be outwitted, outmaneuvered, or put to flight. And yet you put them on a battle map and they battle, so they do get outwitted and outmaneuvered quite easily with those that know how to play the game. And are bolstered against witchcraft by the peerless anti-psychic protection provided by the Sisters of Silence. So they, the Sisters of Silence stop the witchcraft, stop the magic. They're just nothing anymore as a faction. They just don't exist. The Sisters of Silence being the ones that prop up the custodians in this case. But no, the Sisters of Silence have to go into the armor. They, they are now part of the armor. I am completely confused, Warhammer. I am completely confused at this Games Workshop. What are you doing to your own lore to say that suddenly the Custodians are women, even though you have the Sisters of Silence, that are part of that already? This is absolutely ridiculous. And why 
there, this video is being lit up at this point because a lot of the Warhammer fans know what's going on here and it's absolutely downright despicable for Games Workshop to do this. Now there is a rumor out there, there's an upcoming Amazon show saying that they had to change this for the Amazon show, but that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense unless someone's trying to tank their stock value to be able to purchase them up, which very well could be at this point. What are some of these comments going on about? I'd love to see Sister Silence get more models, maybe with them covering for things missing in an army like heavy weapon teams, yada, yada, yada. In case anyone's wondering, those female warriors are the Sisters of Silence, the original female custodies who are not actually custodies at all, but their own entity. They are anti-psychic warriors that complement the custodies in their perpetual vigil over the eternity gate and fight off the constant chaos incursions that others that occur within Terra itself. And this is why none of this made sense for Warhammer, for Games Workshop to come out there and say that the lore is changing, that they are making custodies the uh, female faction on top of the male faction that it already was. The women have already always been there, and it kind of does a disservice to the Sisters of Silence. It kind of makes the Sisters of Silence be less of the Sisters of Silence. They no longer are supporting them in their own way. They now have to cross lines and put on the battle armor. I guess at some point, maybe at some point, the Sisters of Silence, one of them sits there and goes, oh, you know what, my, my fellow comrade fell down. Let's put on their armor and go to war. No, this isn't how this is. This isn't how these, this thing goes. They have their own armor. They have their own faction. And it's absolutely ridiculous that this is where we're at it now. Sisters of Silence are much... Uh, have such untapped potential and that's exactly it the sisters of silence you can prop them up even more in that case but no you have to knock down the actual custodies in this case and for what just to create controversy just to create a lore breach to create something that's absolutely ridiculous where now people that are saying that this is wrong they get called bigots they get called sexist they get called everything under the sun saying that this does, shouldn't exist. There's good reason it shouldn't exist. It's because the Sisters of Silence are already there. It makes the Sisters of Silence mean nothing anymore. It makes them absolutely useless on the battlefield if they can now turn around and just say, oh, they're, they're custodies. When united, these two forces are known as the Talons of the Emperor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So. You bring the two factions together, the women's only faction, the men's only faction in this case, and they become the Talons of the Emperor. But no, they can't be the Talons of the Emperor anymore if they're no longer those factions. If the factions of the Custodes are now women, what does that make the Sisters of Silence? It makes the Sisters of Silence an absolute useless unit and no longer the Talon, and actually then they would break their ranks in the lore. This absolutely makes no sense why Warhammer would come out and do something like that. And this is why they're getting ratioed on this. This is why they're getting lit up in their comments section. 193 comments, which is, you know, 55k views. I, I, it's more than that now. It, it doesn't make any sense to change these things and why there has been such an outrage over this in the community. Anyway, I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix in a Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.